feel the electricity in this stadium. Hey folks, Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet here, and it doesn't get any bigger than Michigan, Ohio State, as far as rivalries go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and today we're gonna go way back way back and look at NCAA 2004 on the PS2 and of course this game was also on the original Xbox. Now this game some people think is the greatest college football game ever. I think that this was the first college football game that started to separate itself from Madden. At least NCAA football game to separate itself from Madden. It did a few things that Madden didn't do and of course it had some features that Madden didn't have. So we're going to look at those real quick, real fast. You're going to go to game modes, right? And in game modes, you're going to find play online, dynasty mode, which, gonna, which we will touch on in a second. But you also had the college classics. This is where you can relive some of the best games and best moments in college football history. I gave you about 20 games starting back in 19. 80 where you had SMU take on BYU and it went all the way up through the 80s all the way up and through the 90s and it even gave you last year's national championship game which back then of course was in the Fiesta Bowl you had number one Miami taking on number two Ohio State Willis McGay, he got toe up from the flow up, made you want to throw up if you've ever seen his knee go back the other way. Now, this was the first college game that did it. Later on this same year, I believe college hoops or college basketball, March Madness, I believe was the name for it back then, on or from the EA Sports team, they had a college basketball version of this, but as far as Madden was concerned, Madden want to add something like that until Madden 2005, but that was only for the collector's edition of Madden 2005. On the regular edition, there was no Madden moment. So NCAA was a step ahead. And then both Dynasty slash franchises on EA Sports platform from Madden 04 and NCAA 04 were fantastic in my opinion. But I like the authenticity that NCAA brought. You had the Sports Illustrated magazine. Of course, on the Madden side of things, you had the Tony Bruno show. But that was on EA Sports Radio. What the heck is EA Sports Radio, right? But to have an actual real life magazine in your game to me just added to the depth of the actual game. So of course you had the preseason polls, you had the Heisman watch. Is he the best in the country? Is he? I, is he? Look at that number 13 from the Bucks. Of course, that is Maurice Claret. I believe that this is is Damon Heward, I believe. I think for Washington. I believe that's him, of course. That's good old Philip Rivers, Felipe Rivers. That's that. That's right. And I believe number four that is Roy Williams of the Texas Longhorns. So again, you had your Heisman watch thrown in there. But I always liked the little caption art that it gave you going into what you wanted to see. Now we've got Mr. All American, the cornerback number seven from the Ohio State Buckeyes. I believe that's Chris Gamble. He was going both ways. And actually in this game, he was your second string receiver on the depth chart. You didn't have to put him over there. He was already there because again, the year before he was playing receiver and he was playing corner for the Ohio State Buckeyes. And then of course, got some of the most famous guys. Got Kellen Winslow up there on the um, All-American team, first team All-American. When it comes to the defense side of the ball, I believe that's David Pollock. And of course, number 75 from the U, that's Big Vince. Will Fork, baby, Big Vince. But again, I just like the dynasty features that this game had. I always like having actual real life ESPN the magazine, Sports Illustrated magazine, in the actual video games. I just think it adds to it. And of course, Sean Taylor, Bob Sanders, they were the strong and free safeties, respectfully. Now, if you look on Sean Taylor's left shoulder, which is on the right side of the screen, you're gonna see the Nike swoosh. That's something that Madden really didn't have. They didn't really have the real life Nike or Reebok swoosh or logo on the jerseys. I believe they did add it later on. But if you look at his kicks, the Nike cleats, and if you were a fan of Tennessee, I believe Tennessee, they were Adidas. The Adidas symbol looked kind of funky on the Adidas cleat, but it was at least there, right? So that was something that was pretty cool that Madden did not do on the PlayStation 2 generation at all. And then the one thing that to me was a small feature, but was the biggest game changer, because gameplay to me is always the most important thing, the fact that the receivers would turn and look for the football right there. He's running, but his head is back looking for the ball, locate the ball, make the play. This is NCAA 03. Gonna throw that thing up to Roy Williams. He's just looking at the cheerleaders, and then all of a sudden, he's able to make a beautiful diving catch. But you're gonna see in the background, Chris Sims, number two, he's gonna throw that thing up, 
and Roy Williams is just looking downfield. He he does not even know that the ball is coming, and again, he makes an incredible diving catch, but again, it kind of, it didn't really take you out of the game, but seeing what NCAA 04 did to me was just something that, it stood out, it stood out, and Madden 04 didn't even have it. You see T.O. running down the sideline, Garcia throws the ball in the air, and T.O. continues to just look down the field. His head didn't start to turn until the animation kind of told him to turn, and Rob Woodson never looked back for the football. But when we look here, Braylon Edwards' character is looking back for the ball and again it wasn't just for his character as well the DBs would do it as well you have Chris Gamble he looked back he bats that thing away chillers go crazy everybody's happy who's room for the Buckeyes look at it again both the cornerback and the receiver look back for the ball to me that was the biggest and most incredible thing I saw during this generation of football at least back then back then it was because you, you did not get that this is Madden 05 you still didn't get it. You still did not get this a man. 05 to Yo on the Eagles now taking on the Cowboys. He's looking downfield, looking downfield. All of a sudden, the ball, the ball pops in his hands. It wasn't until Madden 06 on the PS2 where the receivers and DBs would actually look for the ball. And here you got Chad Johnson. He's running downfield, running downfield, looks for the ball. You also have Townsend. He's going to look for the ball. And, of course, Townsend, he locates the ball, and he's able to bat that thing away. But then look at Chad Johnson's cleats, and this is Madden 06. This is Madden 06. No swoosh, no Nike, no Under Armour, no nothing, no Reebok, no Adidas, nothing on the cleats, man. So, to me, NCAA 04 was the first NCAA football game that started to break away from what Madden was doing. You could really say that NCAA 02 was a carbon copy of Madden 2001. NCAA 2003 was basically the same game as Madden 2003 and so on and so forth. But when we got to NCAA 2004, that's when they started to break away. That's all I got for y'all. Quick little video. Wanted to hit you guys with something. I figured why not talk about some good old college football from back in the day. But that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope the rest of the day is the best of your day. I'm gone. Peace. Love. Hot sauce.